If you're someone who's got websites built on WordPress or Webflow or any other website builder, and you've been thinking about moving to Framer, but you just don't have the capacity to recreate your entire website, then I think you might find this interesting. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can literally copy and paste an entire website directly into Framer in just a few minutes. This is an absolute game changer and will change the way that you build, import and design your websites moving forward. So without further ado, my name is Hamza and let's get straight into it. So this entire process is made possible by a new Chrome extension built by Framer called HTML to Framer. So the first thing that we want to do is open up a brand new Framer project and then head over to paste from web under the insert tab and click on get extension. Once you've added it to your Chrome, you'll see a Framer icon pop up in your toolbar. If you don't, simply open up your extensions and make sure that it's pinned for easy access. Next, head over to the website that you want to copy and then click the Framer icon in your toolbar. This will activate the extension and bring up this pop-up showing you all of the different controls. Then, with your mouse, you'll start to notice that you can highlight various elements on the page. You can either highlight individual elements or entire sections. So, let's start by copying this hero section for example. Highlight the entire section and literally just click. And up top it will say copied. Then, let's head over to our Framer project, right click and hit paste. And just like that, that entire section has been pasted into our Framer project with all of the styling intact. It's pasted all of the individual layers so that you can start to customize fonts, the colors and whatever else you want. Next, let's head back to the website and bring over the images and logos. A really cool feature about this extension is that you can actually copy multiple elements at once. Simply just hold the shift key while you're copying and you can select multiple elements. So let's hold shift and select the image and the logos beneath it. Then let's head back to Framer and hit paste. And boom, all of the images have been pasted in just as they were on the website. It's even brought all of the logos in as individual images so that you can swap them out or style them however you want to. You can then continue working your way through the website and within literally a couple of minutes, you'll have an entire website imported into Framer. Now, obviously bear in mind that you do still need to go in and link your buttons and hook up your forms and all of that kind of stuff, but that should all be pretty straightforward. And just like that, you've imported an entire website into Framer, hooked it up and you can publish it right away. But I know the question that's on your mind right now, and that is, can I copy any website into my Framer project? And the answer is, yeah, you can. You can go into pretty much any website and copy and paste the elements into your own Framer project. But it goes without saying, do not go around stealing websites line for line. This tool was built to help you bring your own websites into Framer and to speed up your own workflow. But with that being said, there are a couple other use cases that I'd personally use it for alongside importing my own sites. The first being, if I saw something on the website that I liked, but I wasn't sure how it was built, I'd use the extension to copy the element into my project just so I could see how it was built and then I would create something similar in my own style. And the second way that this extension can be really useful is if you wanted to find out the styling of an element on a website. For example, if I saw this headline on a website and I wanted to find out the font and the colour it's using, instead of inspecting the element or using a colour picker, I would just copy it into my project and then check out the styling tab and it would tell me the font, the colours and everything else. This tool can be so powerful and can really change the way that you use Framer moving forward, but use it responsibly. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value whatsoever, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. And if you're interested in more content just like this, please consider subscribing. But for now, that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one.